10,000 people in Michigan are living with epilepsy, and 1 in 26 people will develop epilepsy during their lifetime. With numbers like these, we wanted to take a closer look at epilepsy and how doctors are helping people living with it. Joining me now is Dr. David Burdett, the Epilepsy Section Chief at Corwell Health in Grand Rapids. Thank you, doctor, for joining us. Thank you for having me. You know, epilepsy can show itself in many different ways. It's not exactly what we think of, like we've seen on TV, a seizure. Tell us what's happening in the body of someone who has epilepsy. So epilepsy is a brain disorder. It's characterized by an excess of electrical activity that in so many words hijacks the networks of the brain that ordinarily do what we want them to do. So I understand that there's several, because there's several different things that are going on with epilepsy, there's several different ways to treat it. What are some of the ways that you're treating it? So our mainstay of treatment is anti-seizure medications. Okay. We have two broad types, if you will, of epilepsy. There is so-called focal epilepsy that starts in one hemisphere. And many of our re recent breakthroughs are really focused on getting at those individuals with focal epilepsy who have not responded to medication. But we've recently had some breakthroughs for another group of individuals who have what we call generalized epilepsy. And those individuals, one second they're fine, their brain is doing what they're supposed to be doing, then both hemispheres go into a seizure. It's very difficult, but we're making some progress there. Okay, okay, so tell me about MEG. I'll let you pronounce the full word. Um, how, is, how is that helping patients? So MEG is an expensive, okay. and thanks to Jack Miller, we were able to obtain the funds to get an MEG or magnetoencephalography machine at Corwell Grand Rapids. And this machine is very unique. Ordinarily for epilepsy, we analyze the brain with electrodes that are placed on the head and we look at electrical fields, but those are blurred by the skull. With a MEG or magnetoencephalogram, we are looking at the magnetic fluctuations of the brain that is not distorted by the skull, and it gives us new insights into the functioning of the brain and how to treat epilepsy. You can basically see it better. Absolutely. Yeah. Tell me about this clinical trial, the um, Nautilus clinical trial. Tell me about that. So the Nautilus clinical trial is very exciting. It involves individuals who have what we call idiopathic generalized epilepsy. These are folks whose brains are as normal as yours or mine. We can MRI or get a picture of the, these individuals' brains from a scan. They are completely normal. But they have what you might call an ion channelopathy, the slightest of chemical imbalances deep in the brain, and that predisposes them just out of the blue to have a seizure. Heretofore, we have not had great options for that 20% of people with idiopathic generalized epilepsy who keep having seizures. Now we are doing a Nautilus trial that is sponsored by the makers of the responsive neurostimulator where we can implant deep structures of the brain and treat these seizures through judicious amounts of electricity rather than medications. Sounds like there's a lot of hope out there and a lot on the horizon. It's an exciting time to be a treater of epilepsy. Oh. Dr. Burdett, thank you for joining us. Thank you.